What's going on YouTube, Mr. 1013 here with another review. This time we're going to check out Repeater, the Machine Gunner from the Figure Subscription 3.0, the G.I. Joe Club. Yeah, they finally came in. I got mine in today. Um, I believe people, they started arriving at doorsteps yesterday. Um, this is the first two um, first two guys to come, Repeater and Psycho came together. So let's get into it. Um, card art in the back, you see the full card art. Kind of looks like uh, Arnie back there. Some get to the chopper action. There you go. G.I. Joe Club exclusive. Um, pretty solid card art. You know, I'm not complaining. Uh, let's take a look at the back. Get to read up on our uh, repeater. Gonna get that a pause. All right. So, um, comparisons really quick. This repeater didn't really come with. He didn't really come with um, a lot of accessories, not as much as the Night Force Repeater. The Night Force Repeater came with the chain gun, the, the heavy, the 50 cal, the, the can. I don't know. He just came with a, a gang of weapons, and I can show you guys real quick. This is all, I mean, Night Force Repeater came with all this weaponry, the Night Force, um, the gun pack. I mean the bullets and everything. So he he had a gang of stuff that he came with. I don't say gang stuff, but he came with the heavy weaponry. Um, he this guy he he really just came with the light machine gun, which is still cool, no complaints and everything. But it, it wasn't the same weaponry he came with. So you do have a difference in uh, what you got with the Night Force repeater and the um, figure subscription repeater. But he, here is the machine gun he came with. Nice paint apps on there. Silver, black. You know, we've seen this um, a couple times. I believe the Saw Viper had this from um, from the same uh, convention set. I believe this does come off. I might have glued it on here. I don't know. That does come off, you know. So you can uh, take and put that back on there. Pegs right in there, which is always awesome. Um, this does move. So a little bit of articulation on the gun. Set that down. He comes with a um, nice little backpack. We've seen this again before. I can't remember what figure. We probably got on a couple of them. But um, very nice paint apps on this as well. I'm trying to get you a clean uh, shot of this. G.I. Joe logo on here. Camera does not want to act right. There we go. So very nice paint job right there very so i almost look like a sticker but i mean they did a really great job on that but nothing's inside no pockets or anything to put anything in the um bands on here they're um plastic so like no nylon or anything like stretch material so all plastic nice paint job now let's take a look at repeater gi joe stand of course code name repeater all good and let's get a look at Repeater in his classic colorway. Very nice job. Using this bulky roadblock um, body from Retaliation. And I need to mention that the plastic is very solid too. Um, nothing we got with like the 50th anniversary had that kind of kind of soft plastic. This is some on both figures, the Psycho and the Repeater, um, both have very solid plastic, so it, it doesn't feel like a cheap product, you know what I mean? Um, very good, very good. I like the camo on this guy. You have the, um, a lot of people were mentioning how on his hat, the Ranger, the text is actually offset from the mold. It's a, let me see if I can get a good shot of it. I can't get oh my goodness. But basically what what it is is he has Ranger at the top of his hat. There we go. He had, you see Ranger on the top of his hat is like right above it looked like it might have got spray painted or when they were doing the paint of this guy, it kind of missed its mark. So it's slightly above the molding for where Ranger is supposed to be. But um that's not a big deal. But I did want to mention that to you guys. Um so you know, nothing big, nothing that's going to ruin the character or anything or ruin the figure. Now, this right here, as you can see, is some excess paint. Like, they may have 
put more paint on here <laughs> than need be. And um, when I do the comparison, I'll show you the um, Night Force repeater because the paint apps were kind of thin on him, I believe. So I think they just kind of overdid it to make sure that um, you couldn't see like the plastic under the paint, you know, like it was a thin layer of paint on the Night Force version, but they overdid it on this one. So you had some extra paint on here. It might just be mine, but also be on the lookout for that. Um, articulation wise, head does a um, side to side, uh, slight up and down, legs do go out, double jointed knees, foot pivots, uh, rockers on it, does it spin, some, yeah it spins, but it's on a rocker, so you know, it's all funky, but um, arms go out, 360, uh, bend at the elbows, bend at the elbows, Spin at the wrist, and I believe these are, um, yep, he has hands wrist. Yep, he has hands wrist. Um, really, no, uh, ab crunch because the bulky vest on here, and you can untape, un unsnap the vest on here. I'm not going to do it. Look like it's a son of a gun to put back on, but very solid figure. I'm, I'm impressed. I like this guy a lot. I'm going to do a comparison between the both of them, between a repeater, a real American hero, and the Night Force repeater. There's a look at both of them side to side. If I had to choose, it would be the original colorway. Um, it looks like they added a lot of stuff to him. I mean, as you can see, he has his... Gun holsters on the sides now. They weren't they weren't included on the Night Force version, which was a bummer. They look really good over here. Um, he also they both had the sheaths on the set on the ankles down here. This one did come with a knife, which does come out. He also comes with his pistol on the side that does come out. And this is just a pocket with some extra clips on the side. But again, with just with the um added paint camo on this guy and an extra um the gun holster and the um clip pouch and the knife with the sheath i think they they really did a great job on adding the accessories and made it a, a that much of a better figure because i mean he looks more complete he looks more army ready um and then with the classic uh army camo colorways military colorways it looks really good so i will have to pick this one over the knife for so uh the original colorways is two for zero. They're they're winning right now with the um, you know the original colorways versus the Night Force colorways we got um, 2013. But there you have it. The review of Repeater from the figure subscription 3.0. We're in it. We're rolling. Um, we should have the next two figures at the end of the month. So we'll have four figures in January so they can get caught, so the club can get caught back up. So more reviews are coming more sooner than later. So stay tuned. Share, like, and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.